We don't gotta talk about that, man. Yeah. Uh, Connor, <laughs> let's talk about you, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about something more positive. What's up? What's up? What's the craziest shit you ever seen when you're doing like a uh, pest control? I got a story for you on that. So. Uh, actually, not too far away from this side of town. Uh, so I used to take care of like anything from like ants, cockroaches, spiders, to rats, and everything. Like I was telling oh, y'all about the homeless. No. Uh, took this care of Ghana? Huh? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got plenty of pest control stories, but the one that fuck, fucked me up the most was I went to this house. It's an old, hundred year old house. I knock on the door. Lady opens the door. Five rats run away. Five? I'm like, no. whoa. What is this in the no. door? At the door. What the fuck? And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, okay. So whenever you're doing pest control, you go do an inspection. Go you look know, around. You know it was stinking there. They was happy to get a fucking oh, they ran from me out of here. They ran from her. When I tell you it smelled so bad in the house, Tom. Yeah. And I, like, the main thing I remember is like, you know the old houses where they have the, the electrical outlets on the like uh, baseboards, right? Mm. Yeah. So I'm walking by and I look down on the ground and I see one pushed out I had boots on so I just kicked it back in and all you see is a rat hand just come in oh, and just rat put, yeah hand? rat like an arm just push that bitch right back out oh my god I was like what the fuck am I dealing with dude I'm sitting here I was like this is like first six months on the job I'm like I don't know if I can do this <laughs> and I'm walking around and basically what happened is the rats infested the house they were living inside the couch in the living room of the house. Oh, hell no. Yeah, fuck? some like real shit. They were sitting on the couch too? Yeah, bro. Like they would like, the mom got up and you just saw another one run away. I was like, ooh. But the thing that got me, like really fucked me up, it was a little girl walks up to me, shows me her toes. When she was, <laughs> I thought you were laughing over there. Yeah, I don't, uh, <laughs> so, no, I'm not laughing. I'm just <laughs> disgusted. I'm disturbed. Yeah, by no, I was disturbed too. So little girl damn. walks up. The So basically like damn near to the knuckle of her toes were missing. Rats were eating on her toes at night. How oh. the fuck? Why yeah. the fuck? Yeah, Why bro. the fuck? Honestly, Why the fuck? Real shit, like, on God, everything. Like, I've told this story on my podcast to people a bunch of times. It was, it was, like, the most fucked up situation I've ever seen. And so she's like, yeah, they chew on my feet at night, blah, blah, blah. This girl's, like, five. Like, young girl. Like, you what know. was so DC, DPS? So like, what? Get I got, out of that I got more house. of the story for you there. So that whole thing happens. I, there was nothing I was going to be able to do that was going to be able to fix that house. I hope right. you guys understand. Like, right, right. So yeah. I threw, like, a thousand rat traps. I threw poison under the house, blah, 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 all that stuff. And when I do my job, you have to fill in your notes, and it goes to my job, and it goes to the company. It was a rental house, and mm-hmm. I'm not gonna say the company name, but um, <laughs> they saw the, the rental company that got my notes with like the pesticides I use, all that stuff. I bet it's JWC. Hey, hey come on, man. Hey. 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 come on, man. Hey. Hey. We don't, hey. we don't talk shit about. African American businesses. <laughs> Man, fuck JWC. If you watch it. Edit that out. That, edit that out. That's not a. That's I'm not, not, that's not a black owned business. Oh really? That's a white owned business. I don't yeah, know. JWC. Yeah, JWC owned by white. They owned by white people. hundred percent. I know the owners. Oh, never mind. Go on. Yeah. Anyways, so that happens, and I put my notes in. They get immediately. I get a call from the rental company. Like, hey, are you serious on your notes? I'm like dead ass serious. I'm like, like, you know, you take pictures. I didn't take pictures of the kid or nothing like that. Too young. Um, That whole so that happens, and then five minutes later. Uh, DCPS calls me five minutes five minutes calls me later and yeah they took the girl away I I felt bad about that because you're obviously taking a child away from the parent but I mean what are you gonna do bro that situation was fucked eating on the toes at night is crazy imagine you waking up in a rat Sucking on your toes, <laughs> like, you see, you, see, like you see a tail like, like fluttering and shit, like bro. Some ribs, right? Just it's some horny ass rat. <laughs> sucking on your toes. But, but I mean, I've seen that. I've seen people selling coke in front of me, going into their house, literally like bagging it up. Like, yeah, there's cockroaches in the in the fridge. I'm like, okay. Oh <laughs> shit. Yeah, another one. I was doing a turn, or no, I was doing a bed bug job. Homie flaps his sheets, and a freaking gun falls on the ground. I'm like, bro. Oh <laughs> I'm wow. Like, I'm like, can we put the put the gun away real quick? Yeah. I was like, I was, <laughs> the fuck are you? You doing? You like I try to shoot the bed bugs, but that shit ain't. <laughs> oh, bro, you wouldn't like. I swear, people would have just rat poison. They spray shit up in the air that would kill us if we sat in here in this room, bro. Like all kinds of shit, man. And like, there's a uh, certain restaurants, uh, chicken restaurant. I can't say the name. He's not trying to get defamation or anything like that. Chicken coop. Sure it's you okay. Tell you me chicken coop. Oh, I got you. I got you all day, bro. Cause he love food trucks. So. I can tell. No, not I food truck. Chicken. This is actual restaurant. This is actual restaurant. big restaurants. Multiple. Popeyes. <laughs> no. It's okay. Bro. Uh, but all that stuff like that, like I pulled like 40 rats out of one restaurant. 40? Oh, oh yeah, bro. 
40. Oh, bro, Jacksonville is filled. And, 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 it's not, it and it's not just like, it's not just across the bridge, bro. You go to Jack's Beach all over the place, bro. And like, and also people are just fucking dirty, bro. Right, right, I'll right. go into houses where like I used to have to carry a backpack <clears throat> and it was a backpack uh, vacuum cleaner and I had to go vacuum out like cockroaches and stuff, bro. Like, literally, I would open, I would open where you keep your cereal box. We were talking about cereal earlier. Open that up and everything's moving. Oh! Oh yeah, German shit. cockroaches, all that shit, What's bro. What's a German cockroach? So a German cockroach is a real small Those roach about this big. And if you find one, there's a hundred of them somewhere. Yeah. 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 Oh, so. it's a little kind of big, but not big one. Yeah. When you got oh. one, you invest it. When oh I was leasing God. apartments in North Carolina, yeah. somebody had them shits. I was like, oh, fuck. What we gonna do? It was like, shit, you gotta call today or tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nigga, everybody gonna be calling. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Yeah. And uh, the only, the scariest thing for me I ever did was, you know, we take care of those rental houses and a lot of times they're empty. People move out, they have you spray before people move in. Right. There's two times where I, the first one, I like, there's a lockbox on the door. They give you the code, get in the door, blah, blah, blah. And I unlock the door and I look to my right and I see two pink crocs and then a person just lunged at me. Wow, that's definitely JWC. Bro, when I tell you I turned Usain Bolt for like two seconds there, I'm slow <laughs> as fuck, but I ran down that road so goddamn quick. It scared the fuck out of me. It just a homeless person was in there, just ran out on me. It scared the shit out of me. And oh, they're squatting. Yeah, they're yeah, squatting. squatting. And like, yeah. like I said, not hating on the person, but when I tell you like made me fucking jump out of my skin, bro, I like freaked me the fuck well, out. I mean, like, hey man, don't lunge at me, motherfucker. Just yeah. get up and leave. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It was literally it was like a bang bang, like in football, like you know, someone gets fucking hit like real quick. It was like yeah. that. I was like bang bang. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> like, yeah. I ran down the street. Oh wow. But, <laughs> yeah. Man. Like, like you don't expect to see nobody in a rental property that's supposed to be in. Nah, man. I was just fuck? I was going in there, bro. It's like five seconds. You go in there and spray, do your thing real quick, and then you're out. It's like it's like a 15 minute thing. It's nothing that takes too long and just that kind of stuff. Like I said, just drug usage, man. Seeing people who have like 20 kids not taking care of any of their kids, man. I'm just like shit. But it's perspective. You know, it gives you a little bit of a perspective on things. It makes me feel better about my life. Make sure I take care of my shit and make sure nothing nothing's going too bad. I used to tell my wife. I tell her stories. I'd send her pictures and shit. She hates bugs. She's like, call me mad. She's like, what the fuck are you sending these pictures for? <laughs> I believe it. 